Good afternoon, guys. It is officially afternoon now, and today is the first day of February. So it is the beginning of this video. I was realizing while editing uh, the January videos that I don't really say what the day is, so then you're kind of lost as to what day it actually is. So I want to try and change that and actually say, like, today is February 1st, so that way you know where we are in the month. Anyway, so February 1st, I've already looked it up because I just finished doing my February bullet journal. It is Freedom Day. I was thinking about it because I, I have no idea how to celebrate Freedom Day. Because, I mean, I live in the United States, which I guess it's known for its freedom. We talk about it a lot. So I guess what I was thinking and the only way I could think of to celebrate Freedom Day was to wear red, white, and blue. So I'm gonna go take a shower and then I'm gonna go put on some red, white, and blue clothing as if it's like the 4th of July, just to celebrate Freedom Day. So happy Freedom Day, everybody. Okay, uh, wet hair because I don't feel like blow drying it. So we're just gonna let it do its thing. Also, not gonna be in my room filming this because it is so messy and I don't want you guys to see it. So here's the outfit. It's got the red, white, and blue shirt, some blue jean pants. Yeah. So guys, it is 8.20 at night and I'm now just coming to you mainly because this morning I found a huge sit on my face. It's still there. It does not look as bad, but it definitely feels horrible. Anyway, today was Groundhog Day, um, so we have six more weeks of winter, but that is not the random holiday. The random holiday is very similar to Groundhog Day. It is also Hedgehog Day. I'm not really sure how to celebrate this, so I figured um, we'll look at pictures of hedgehogs and learn some facts about hedgehogs that maybe we don't know or I don't know about hedgehogs, so let's do it. <laughs> All right, here are some hedgehogs, just in case you don't know what hedgehogs are. These are them. Honestly, they're cuter than groundhogs. Now for some hedgehog facts. Fact number one, there are 17 species of hedgehogs. Fact number two, there are approximately 6,000 quills on a hedgehog. Their lifespan is three to four years in the wild but 11 years when in captivity. All right, that's that's it. That's pretty much all I got for you. <laughs> oh, okay, wow. Yeah, very dark, because it is nighttime, but I finally just got off work, and really all I want to do is just go home and do nothing, but today is carrot cake day, so I've been looking up online at places where there's carrot cake, but since today is a Sunday, February 3rd, day of the Super Bowl as well, which I've completely missed. All of like the bakeries that have carrot cake are closed, but I found one place that might have it, so let's hope that they have it. Okay, so yay, they had carrot cake. This is, this, these are fries, it's not carrot cake. Um, I ended up getting a burger from them as well. Oh, that's the carrot cake. I was like, that does not look like a burger. But this is the carrot cake. Look at it, can you see it? Can you see it? Sorry, I just felt like Grace Helbig doing that. We'll see how it tastes. I won't eat it right now because I kind of want to eat some dinner first, hence the burger. But also I might do a review of the carrot cake. So if you guys want to check out a uh, veggie grill for some carrot cake, why not? Okay guys, it is time to eat the carrot cake now. Yes, I'm only wearing half of my sweatshirt because the sleeve is soaking wet. There's also a cricket just walking around the kitchen and I don't, like it. Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, anyway, let's eat this carrot cake. I will say also veggie grill, in case you don't know, they're like all vegan. So I'm a little scared <laughs> that I'm not going to like this cake, but let's give it a whirl. Let's see how their carrot cake is. Okay. Here we go. Hmm. It's actually not too bad. Yeah, no, that, that's a carrot cake. <laughs> what? Oh wow, it is super dark. Uh, that's because it's super early in the morning. Uh, so good morning, it's February 4th. And I've already looked up today, I looked it up last night, and today is 
eat ice cream for breakfast day. Let me just make sure <laughs> that I think about it. Okay, yeah, it's ice cream for breakfast day. So, I guess I'm having ice cream for breakfast. <laughs> sweatshirt back on. So today is February 5th and it is okay, uh, World Nutella Day. So for those of you who love Nutella, today is your day. We're gonna see about this one. I'm kind of busy today. I have a lot going on so I don't know if I'm ever gonna actually get around to getting Nutella, but we'll see. Good evening. Um, it is 10 o'clock at night, actually exactly 10 o'clock, and no Nutella happened today. I am sorry, it was quite a busy day, so I never got around truly getting any Nutella. So, I'm just going to lay in bed, read my book, this is what I'm reading, and then eventually go to sleep. And then hopefully tomorrow I will be able to accomplish it. <laughs> Alright, so I'm heading out. It is the end of the afternoon, almost the beginning of nighttime. It's around that time. <laughs> and I've already looked it up. Today is frozen yogurt day. I love frozen yogurt. I don't know if I'll be able to get frozen yogurt right now. Um, but definitely tonight I'll be able to eat some frozen yogurt. <laughs> what today is. And today, let's figure out what it is. Sorry, I'm pretty tired. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. It's Rose Day. Alright. Let's see. We'll, we'll think about this one. So that was like the only flower shop that I know of around here and they for some reason didn't have roses. I saw things that were similar to roses but they weren't roses so I guess today's gonna have to be a fail because no roses today. I mean unless I call my friend Rose and wish her a happy Rose Day, but I'm I'm no I don't think the holiday means my friend Rose. I feel like the holiday means the flower rose. So unfortunately this one is a fail. Very upsetting. Hi guys, it is super late at night. Uh, mainly because I kinda know what today's holiday is and I knew I was gonna be able to film it or do it. <laughs> or whatever. Uh, but basically, today is National Kite Flying Day. Don't have a kite. I don't know where I could even fly a kite. I don't, I don't know. I don't have a kite to fly. Los Angeles isn't really a place to fly a kite. No kite flying today. Which, by the way, is February 8th. God, I don't like having this many fails. Okay, we're gonna try not to fail from here on out for the rest of the month. <laughs> I don't know if I can promise that. Good morning. Just listening to some Ariana Grande. Because her album is now out. Feeling super cold. It's in the 40s today. For some reason. And today, it's 
National Bagel Day. This I could definitely do. Finally, I could celebrate a day. Uh, so yeah, National Bagel Day. Today is National Flannel Day, so I'm going to wear some flannel. Plus, I'm actually going outside today and doing some fun things, so maybe we'll try and film me wearing flannel doing fun things. <laughs> okay, here's the flannel with the outfit. All right. <laughs> and I just saw that it is Don't Cry Over Spilled Milk Day. I just got home and was planning on staying home, but I don't have milk, so now I gotta go back out, get some milk, and then we will not cry over spilled milk. This should be fun. <laughs> now I find the roses. Ugh, should have just come to Target. Okay home and I just opened lots of very important mail. The mail today was just all very much important paperwork. Voting things, workers comp things, doctor things, lots of important papers and I had to make some phone calls. So done that. Also got a package from my mom. Thank you mom. But back to the important stuff which is don't cry over spilled milk day. I got the milk. And then, of course, I got paper towels because it's going to be quite the cleanup, which is not something I'm looking forward to. But let's go spill some milk. <laughs> weather right now. I am not okay with this super cold weather in Los Angeles. This doesn't happen. Like it doesn't go down to 39 degrees. Anyway, let's figure out what today's holiday is. Okay, it's um National Lost Penny Day. First of all, I'm going to have to lose a penny, but second of all, how do I purposefully do that? And third of all, how do I film that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, today is National Tortellini Day, so we are going to have tortellini. So here we have creamy basil chicken with tortellini. Why is it looking so weird, the footage? It's like super blurry or something in the background. Okay, tortellini. <laughs> February 
February 14th, Valentine's Day. Uh, usually on this day, I just watch really sad love movies, eat ice cream, cry, because, you know, single and hate it. But today is not going to be that type of day. Today, I'm actually under the ass crack of dawn. Why? Because I'm going to Disneyland. Okay. I've never been to Disneyland, but today I am I get to go. My friend ended up having um, an extra free ticket to Disneyland, so why would I say no to that? So I'm going to Disneyland. Of course, I had looked up what the random holiday was going to be for today to make sure that I could do it while I was in Disneyland, but... I'm still not quite sure how to celebrate this holiday. I kind of figured something out, but we'll go with it. Basically, today is Have a Heart Day. I wasn't quite sure, A, what that means, because there could be multiple meanings for it. So I just found one that kind of worked with the whole going to Disneyland thing. And so I have a shirt that has a heart on it. So I'm just going to wear that shirt. That way I always have a heart with me. <laughs> I think it works. Okay, my friend's gonna be here any minute to pick me up, but here's the shirt with a heart on it. That way I have a heart with me all the time. Yay! So I'm at Disneyland today, and Disneyland is completely empty because it's raining, but let me show you how empty Disneyland is. Why is your smiling? Lies, you are lies. Bone. Daddy? What? I still have a heart. 